hey baby um i know that this is like my third time asking and <laughs> i'm not trying to be annoying but could you maybe unlock the door for me please Look, I don't know what happened today before I got home. Um, I get you might want some time or space to yourself. It's just... I've been hearing you crying and you've been in there for a long time. It's been worrying me and I want to be there for you. With you. I mean... I mean, if you want me to be. Okay, well, that's okay. I'll, I'll just sit, I'll just sit, I'll just sit here on the other side of the door with you then and talk. I'll still be right here with you and you don't have to say anything back unless you want to. I love you. I want you to know that. I think you need to hear it right now too, so... I love you. No matter what you're going through or what happened today or how you're feeling. I might not get it, but, um... I care. And I'm right here, and... Whatever is happening... We'll get through it together. What? Did you say something? Of course we can, princess. Why would you say we can't? Hmm? Why would you say we can't get through this? Sweetheart. Talk to me. Please. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> yes, you are. Can I come in now? Can I? Okay. There's my girl. Oh, I miss this face. All day. Here, sit on my lap. Mm. I've missed you. You want to tell me what's wrong while I wipe these tears? Hmm? That's okay. Then tell me and keep them coming then. Don't worry about it, just let it all out. I'm right here now. It's okay. Mm hmm So you saw them today? Are they okay? You told them? Like, you fully came out? <laughs> That's amazing. I want to congratulate you so bad right now, but something tells me they didn't take it well. Well, what did they say? Uh, I can't. But that's also, that's so hurtful and not true. No, it's not true at all. It's ignorant. Baby, you, you can't believe any of that. You don't believe any of that, right? They did what?
So you were just... You were forced to leave, too? Are you serious? That's so messed up and humiliating. How could they do that to you? I'm so sorry, princess. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Why didn't you call me and tell me? How come you didn't wait for me, hmm? I would have gone with you like we decided on eventually doing. Baby, I can't fault you for that, no. You thought you were ready and you could do it alone. Oh, baby girl. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay, my love. You can cry. It's okay, you can cry. You have every right to. But you know what? Hey. Hey. You did. <sighs> yeah, you did. You did it. You... You faced your biggest fear knowing the risk and still taking it anyway. So you thought you were ready and could do it alone and you did. And that's worth something. And I know it didn't go the way you'd hoped. The way we'd hoped, but... That doesn't take away from the fact that you did it. All by yourself. On your terms. And... I'm so proud of you for that pretty girl. Regardless of how shitty they reacted. To do what you did today takes a lot of bravery and determination. And no matter what, you... You overcame something huge today. You know that and I know that better than any of them. Oh, baby, I know. I can't say I'm sorry enough times and no amount of times is going to take the pain they caused away, but... I love you, okay? I love you so, so much. And they have no idea what they're talking about. One day, they'll regret their choices. And if they don't... Um... Well, baby, if they don't, then... Then that's their loss, and we'll figure it out and adapt. Because you'll be living a life with no regrets with me. And we'll be patching up all the holes they left behind with better memories and fun times and love. Lots and lots of it. You hear me? Don't say that. You're not sick, okay? You're not sick or wrong or messed up. What's wrong is going your entire life telling someone you love them, caring for them, watching them grow up in front of your eyes, clapping for their achievements, and then just deciding you don't want to do any of that anymore because of who they love. Deciding that... Even them confiding in you with such vulnerable honesty deserves some kind of punishment and rejection. That's messed up. To have such a deep-rooted ignorance or hatred or whatever it is suddenly triumph over all someone is. All you've known them to be because they like girls. Oh no, <laughs> how terrible. I mean, really, really listen to how stupid that sounds, babe. It's like... Get over yourselves. <laughs> Look at me. Look. You are not wrong. There is nothing wrong with you. Nothing. You did not and do not deserve that. And maybe if they can't see that, then they don't deserve you. And 
I know it has to do with their beliefs and upbringings, I know, but that doesn't justify anything. It's not an excuse. I don't care what culture or childhood or beliefs limited anyone's way of thinking. Unlimit them, then. <laughs> it actually is, baby. <laughs> it is that easy. It's easier than they might care to admit. People just complicate things with their egos. Because love is love and they need to do better with showing and approving theirs. Yet, they're so quick to judge and condemn the love of others. If you love someone and the only thing they did was tell you who they love, if that alone can alter a lifetime of presence and memories and trust and feelings, then the weak link is not you. Do you understand that? This is on them. You've done nothing wrong. And there's nothing wrong with you. No, baby. No, they don't hate you. They don't. They hate something they don't understand. Something they haven't even tried to. They... They hate the shattering of the illusion they created of you and your future and... Maybe how and who it'd be with. Not you. And... You're not selfish for wanting to share the reality with them. Your love or hopes and dreams. How you want it to look like. How it will look like. You are worthy of acceptance and respect and unconditional love and nothing less. If they refuse to show up and give it to you now, just know that I'm not. And I will. Always. Hey. Hey. You're gonna be okay. I know it doesn't feel that way right now, but you will. You're not alone with this. I didn't say this or make it up, but I am going to say it now. A masterpiece is still a masterpiece even when the lights are off and the room is empty. So just because it's dark right now and they're choosing not to show up for you in the way that you deserve doesn't mean... You're any less of a masterpiece. You hear me, princess? That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's perfectly normal to still want their approval. They're your family. I get that. And as much as I wish I could make sure you get it from them, all I can do is support you with mine. Because we're family too. Of course I mean it. I've got you. You are amazing. You know that? <laughs> yes, you are, baby. You really are. Don't let any of what they said sprout roots, okay? Let them hold on to their own negativity. You are a good person. And a good daughter and a wonderful, wonderful girlfriend. You don't go out trying to hurt people or control them or their beliefs. You don't manipulate or exploit them for your benefit. Your intentions aren't to control or compete or punish anyone. You're fair and smart and strong and empathic and brave and beautiful and brilliant. Don't you ever, 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 ever let them or anyone else convince you you're someone or something you're not. You've gone through so much and have managed to stay as kind to everyone as you could be in the process. Everyone but yourself. It's about time you start taking up more space and not apologizing for it. To anyone. 
not hiding it from anyone. So yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you came out. And we're gonna celebrate it. <laughs> we're gonna celebrate you because this is an achievement. This is gonna be a good life for you, damn it. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. Cue the balloons and the confetti and the rainbows and the butterflies. <laughs> I'm glad that could make you laugh a little. <laughs> you feeling any better? That's okay. It'll take time. No worries. Hey. I really am proud of you. Who's my sweet girl? Hmm? Mm-hmm. That's right. And who's my pretty baby? <laughs> you sure are. The prettiest, the bestest baby. Here, give me a hug. A big one, a big one, a big one. <sighs> Now how about you go and get out of these clothes, put your comfiest PJs on, and let me cook for you tonight. <laughs> it's okay, I think today calls for it. After? Um, whatever you want, my love. We can do whatever you want. We can go out or stay in or watch movies or play games. Whatever you want. You deserve it. I love you too. Okay. Go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs>